Hi everyone, it's Nicole here. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Amazon Prime Days are coming up. If you don't know what Prime Days are, it's basically the Black Friday on Amazon. There will be a lot of deals going on and for this year, 2022, Amazon Prime Day is going to be July 12th and July 13th. A lot of you have messaged me on Instagram and Facebook asking me what products that I will purchase or recommend. So I thought I would do a Prime Day special video just sharing with you my Amazon must-have plan products and also share with you what I'm going to get on Prime Days. If you have products that you really enjoy but I I did not mention in this video, please let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely check it out and maybe add them to my shopping cart. All the products that I'm going to talk about are my absolute favorites, so they're not in specific order. If there's no Prime Day, I will still continue purchasing them if I run out. So, okay, the first one that I want to talk about is Heat Mat. If you have followed me for a while, you probably know that I don't use greenhouse, humidifier, grow light, cabinets, um, etc. But I do use heat mat. It is very helpful to we have plants or if you are growing plants from seeds like some anthuriums or in spring you want to grow your vegetable garden from seeds. If I get any unroot cutting in late fall or winter, I usually would put my plant in a clear container and then put the container on top of the heat mat. So this is the heat mat that I use. It is from the brand Vivosum. You can use other heat mats too, but I really like this. So that's why I recommend to you. I don't know if there's any deals on Prime Day, but if you go to their official website and use my code, you'll get 12% off and also free shipping. Of course, I put all the information in the description box. This one is their advanced version. It has the digital thermostat and I found the temperature is very, very even. Um, so I highly recommend. When talking about rooting cuttings, I like to use some rooting hormone. No matter I root plants in spring, summer or winter, I always dip my cutting into the root rooting hormone before I put it in water, lacquer or whatever medium and that really helps. So when I pot up my plants, especially um, anthuriums or orchids, instead of purchasing orchid pots, I like to purchase um, this kind of soup pot. I like to collect the soup pot when I do carry out and recycle it. I got a super simple soldering gun and once I plug it in, it will get the temperature will get very hot and I will punch holes. So I can add as many drainage holes as I want in the pot. So this is just one of the example. If you want a clear container with a lot of drainage, I think this is a very cheap way to do that. And I've been doing that for a lot of my anthuriums and some sensitive philodendrons. I highly recommend, of course, if you think this is too much work, you can order orchid pots. I have a few recommendations as well. I'll put it in the description box. And this one, the soldering gun, is so cheap. It's about like $8 or $10 on Amazon. So I highly recommend. Um, next one, talking about pots. I like these about four inch pots. They are white plastic pots with a little saucer. I don't have the saucer with me, but I will take a picture and put it on screen. I love the drainage at the bottom. I think that is very, very good. Um, sometimes I like to pot my um, plants, especially Hoyas, in a clear container. So I like to use these. 3 inch or 2 and 7 inch clear container. The plastic is very good quality. Like, I am like squeezing it very hard. But yeah, it is super hard. 
and look at the drainage here. Have you heard of root mealies? It is very hard to spot because they basically live with the roots. So with a clay container, you can easily identify them. I mean, easier to identify them. So yeah, I like some good quality um, uh, propagation pots like this. I got them in a whole set. Like, there are about 30 or 40 pots for 15, 15, 16 dollars. I think they are so affordable and very good quality. I highly recommend if you're also looking for some good quality, smaller, clear pots. I have some bigger, like six inch and eight inch um, planters or plastic pots that I highly recommend. I will put that in the description box as well. I I don't really like to use terracotta pots simply because they are quite heavy and whenever I repot my plants, I cannot squeeze it, like loose it up. It's very hard to do that. Um, I broke several terracotta pots during uh, repotting plants, so that's why now I basically just purchase plastic pots and I reuse them all the time. Okay, talking about pots. Okay, saucer. I purchased these 8 inch saucers. I don't really like the clear, very flimsy saucer that you can purchase from Walmart or Home Depot. To me, they're just not nice looking. And these ones are very um, good quality and very thick plastic. And I like it very much. This pot is from Target. It is their room essential self watering pots. I will move the bottom. Um, anyways, I really like this kind of pot because one, it's only $3 for this eight inch. Um, and the plastic is very good quality. And it, and it also has very good drainage. But I don't really like that self watering piece simply is because I don't really want to um, lift up my plant and dump the extra water every time so I basically just remove the saucer part and plant my plant directly into the pot so here is an example this is my Syndapsis trubia moonlight I put I plant it directly in the pot and I use this um, uh, this saucer that I got from Amazon yeah, so I think it looks very nice. So if you also like to use your Target Room Essentials pot and looking looking for good quality saucers, I highly recommend. Okay, now talking about repotting plants, repotting mats. I like, I love it. So this is um, the repotting mats that I got from Amazon, six dollars for two pieces two of them and this one is brand new because i don't want to show you the dirty one this is very big and it does the job i'm sure you can find some very cute uh, pattern ones but it's way more expensive but six dollars for two packs i think it is very very good price and i got them um, not on sale at all so if they're on sale on prime day definitely get them you can keep them all for yourself or you can share them, share one of them with your friend. Um, yeah, I think this is a very good purchase. And let's talk about watering. I don't want to talk too much about this soil meter. Um, I think most of you guys have it. If you don't, please get one. If you have a heavy, large floor plants, such as Bird of Paradise, I highly recommend you um, to get a soil meter. It tells you exactly if your plants need water or if the plants get enough light. One thing that I need to point out is do not stick it in the soil and leave it there for days because it will get the metal rusted. So what I usually do is after I testing the soil um, uh, moisture, I will pull it out 
and use some paper towel to clean it and then store it. All right, let's talk about pest control. <sighs> Nobody likes pest. My first must have is the Bonai Systemic Houseplant Insect Control. It is a systemic granules. It, it is so powerful. So my variegated Hindu rope got mealy bugs um, last summer because I left it outdoor and I got some outdoor plants but unfortunately my outdoor plants got mealy bugs but I did not notice that and my variegated Hindu rope was sitting right next to that outdoor flowering plant. I used some alcohol and Q-tip manually removing some um, mealy bugs and then I mix um, a couple spoons of the systemic granules into the top uh, inch of the soil and I repeat it two or three times and now I I have not seen any mealy bugs on my variegated Hindu robes so yeah I, I highly recommend if you're bringing new plants home and you're not sure if your plants also have some types of insect I also recommend you guys to add some to the new plants just in case of course you should always quarantine any of the new plants that you bring home this thing kills aphids, white flies, mealy bugs, scales and other insects um, another pest that I really hate is spider mites however Spider mites is not insect, so this thing would not kill spider mites. So I like to use my dead uh, Bonai Captain Jack's dead bug spray. I really like it because it is ready to use, it's not concentrate, so I don't really have to spend time to uh, dilute it, stuff like that. And it kills bagworms, beetles, caterpillars. Um, leaf miners, spider mites, thrips, and more. So for spider mites, I usually give my plants a good shower or good rinse and then I will spray it. Yeah, it helps a lot. For fungus infection or fungal infection, I use this uh, fungicide, garden safe fungicide. I believe a lot of, a lot of you guys have it. It's just very handy. I don't have orchids at home but I do like to use it on my Hoyas. My Hoyas do flower a lot and I don't know if it's because of this but I see some results so I think yeah I just keep buying this stuff. If you're looking for a pair of good quality gloves I highly recommend the No Cry Long Leather Gloves. It is so difficult to repot cacti and I got poked by cacti so many times although I was wearing gloves but I realized I just did not get the right type of gloves and these no cry gardening gloves are so perfect they are very flexible they're soft and when I was wearing them to repot my cacti I didn't feel anything so highly recommend another thing that I want to mention I don't think I've shared it with you all on Instagram on Facebook but I've been trying this crazy um, cakey cloning paste it is super small very small paste basically it's like a um, plant hormone you know some of the trailing plants like golden patho um, if you forget to water it for too long some of the leaves will turn yellow and then you pull the leaves off but the vine will look a little bit bare on the top so you can put those uh, put some of the cakey or kiki paste on that on the node area and it's supposed to activate the node to produce new growth if you want to promote more new growth on your plants without making a cut such as your monstera elbow or Thai constellation or other wear plants maybe this cakey place would be the solution who knows
I'm doing experiment on these two plants. This one is a Syngonium, and this one is a Philodendron Silverzor. They're not, not the best looking, but this is not the point. So um, I apply some cakey paste on the notes area, and here it already has um, a little growth point coming in. So this is very exciting. I'm not quite sure if a new leaf will form or it will stay like this so um yeah i will see and this one is my silver sword and um this is actually there are actually two new leaves and this one is a also a new growth point and another new growth point here so looks like the cakey paste is it's working so i've been using it for uh three sorry four weeks now and yeah so this is the results that i've seen but again i put them outdoor so i don't know if it's because of the cakey paste or it's because of the outdoor environment i have no idea so i still need to do more testing but if you guys have tried it Please let me know what you think. Um, I am very curious. On Prime Days, I'm going to stock up some of the uh, products that I just shared with you guys. And I'm also going to get a couple of new items. The first one is the Electric Plant Mister. If you use moss pole, you know how fast the moss dry out. And I don't like it. I've been using my like manual uh, Mr. Oh my gosh, it takes forever. So I'm going to get the electric plant mister. Um, I'll put the one that I'm going to purchase in the description box. A lot of people said it's a game changer. So I'm going to try that out. Um, the second new item that I'm going to get is a USB microscope camera. After watching Bestie Begonia's video, oh my gosh, like she showed the footage um, of the mites on her Hoya. So I'm going to do some treatments on my Hoya and after a few weeks I would like to see if those mites are gone or there are more. So I'm going to get that for sure. I'll leave the information in the description box. Um, yeah, so these are the two products that I'm going to try. If you guys have any um, good ones, please let me know in the comment section below. I might add them to my wish list or my shopping cart. And yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and hopefully subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm also active on Instagram and Facebook. Feel free to give me a follow if you want to see more plenty content. Um, and thank you so much for your support. My name is Nicole. I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.